Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I want to, before I get going, just say please hit that subscribe button, share the video, um, give us a comment if you have one. If you don't, uh, that's also okay. Uh, today I wanted to show you how to pollinate and harvest Venus flytrap seed. The one thing I feel that I omitted showing you is once you've pollinated the plant, uh, this is what I want to show you so that you know where to what to cut. I say cut flower heads, but this is what I mean. Here, for example, we have got a Venus flytrap, right? We're coming to the end. It's nearing the end of the growing season. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of being really generous when I say that. We're, we've still got quite a bit of heat left. Uh, but nevertheless, here's the old stalk, right? So the flower stalk comes up, 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 up to that point there. These are the old flower heads. So when I say cut off the flower heads, um, I mean cut these pieces off. So you basically just go snip, 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 and you collect them into a piece of paper. And then the video continues, as you will see. So in this case, I will actually, if I can't just tug them out, okay, I can't do that because it's, it's you can see the plant is moving, so that's going to hurt the plant. I'll come by and I'll just snip them all off, especially in the event that they have not formed seed, okay? Yeah, let's carry on. With the onset of spring, of course, comes all kinds of nasties, but also all kinds of amazing things. And for one, the flowers of the Venus flytraps. The nasties uh, are the basically you know things like aphids and whatever so really what we're focusing on today is not aphids but the pollination of a venus flytrap okay so now let me just see if i can show you exactly which is which like uh let's find a better more appropriate flower okay give me a sec so what i've done now is sorry i'm gonna try and keep as steady as possible it's not very easy for me but uh, if you see the central part that right in the center kind of looks like a bit of a paintbrush uh, which is right there that little thing right there that is the female part of the flower now the male part are these guys on the outside here these little brown on on little white stalks those are anthers and then that there is the stigma style and ovary so uh, if you look at it from the side, you can see it's actually standing on a bit of a pedestal, okay? And uh, you basically, what you want to do to get this pollinated is you want to get some of that brown stuff, or at least in this case, the, the anthers have already uh, passed, so there are others, other plants, such as this one. So this one here, you can actually see, has got some really good pollen on it, and that is, it's ripe, it's looking really good. Let's hope the wind doesn't blow and mess up my shot here, but you want some of that pollen and you want to stick it onto the female part of the flower. So how the best way I do that is by using a paintbrush. Um, so I literally use one like this. So I just use a tiny little brush like this one. So it's very small. It's like an artist's brush. Okay. And since we are actually essentially doing some art here, guys, right? We are doing some art. So I literally will take this and I'll try and nip one of those little guys off and uh, of, of the anthers. I'll, I'll take one of the anthers um, and break off one of the stamens and I'll actually put the entire stamen onto the female part of the bloom like this. So I literally, I'm going to try and do this guys, but I'm doing it with one hand, so please forgive me and I have no one to help me film today. Um, but I'm literally just going to grab and there you see one of the anthers breaking off. Yeah, and I've got another one in the brush, so they actually get stuck in the brush. Let's just see that that sticks. Pick that one up. Okay, got it. Yes. Now... I turn it round, you should be able to see the anther just stuck in the brush right there. So what I've got now is uh, some of the seed, 
or the old flower heads which I picked. Sometimes uh, it's just easier to, f to collect all the, all the uh, flower heads with all, all the ovaries containing all of the seeds. Um, in that way, uh, if you pick them at the right time, you get packages with more seed in them. So I didn't pollinate all of these, I just did a couple and then left the rest of the flowers. So down there you can see some of the seed, which I've already removed. They're sort of very tiny. I mean, they're literally like specks of dust and they're black and shiny. So I'm going to show you how to take them out. Right, so right, so uh, now, if I squeeze, you'll see the seed actually starting to emerge. And then they go. Venus flytrap seed. So a tedious process, but this is what you got to do to get all of the seed out. And this is it from a distance. And I'm actually filming in the rain right now. So you can see the droplets actually falling on the paper. So I'm going to go inside. But I just wanted to get some good lighting to actually show you what the seeds look like. So um, you can see some of the seeds lying in the front. And then again the... The um, the flower head there, in the in the sort of center, back center, yeah. Okay, so that is it. One more thing that I do want to mention is storage of the seed. How do you store the seed? Well, what I do is uh, I put it into a you know those paper envelopes, like just a literal paper envelope. Um, I put them into paper envelopes, write the date and the species name on the envelope, and then I put it into the fridge, the door of my fridge. So not in the back or the vegetable drawer or where it gets exceptionally cold, but rather just in the very top of the door of my fridge. Um, and that would be part of the scarification process, uh, or cold treatment rather. Um, yeah. So. If you like this video, please again hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. If you have, thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.